2017 was a fast-moving, very turbulent year. It was filled with countries on the cusp of famine, rising violent extremism, and civil wars. What remained constant is that peace is very possible. This year, Iraq declared victory over the terrorist organization, the Islamic State. Along the way, USIP has been working with community leaders, political leaders, and uh, the government to restore peace in areas that have been affected by the conflict. This past June, the Institute honored the soldiers of the 10th Mountain 2nd Brigade Combat Team for their sacrifices and contributions to a tribal reconciliation agreement in Mahmoudia, Iraq in 2007. If you can build peace in a place like Mahmoudia, peace has a chance just about anywhere. In Nigeria, we work with governors as part of a top-down approach to peace building. And over the last year, we hosted a number of governors here in Washington, where for the first time, they were able to engage directly with U.S. policymakers and decision makers. We don't only work top-down. Uh, Bottom-up processes are also crucial for peace building. Uh, in Pakistan, we worked on this program, which is a rehabilitation center for former militants and terrorists who were trained as suicide bombers, who were trained as informers, young teens. And the monitoring center that works on this reports an almost 100% success rate in terms of reintegrating these individuals as productive members of their communities. This year, Colombia reached an historic peace deal. We also lost our wonderful colleague, Ginny Bouvier. She worked both top-down and bottom-up to make that peace deal happen. We're trying to replicate some of those success stories in Colombia. One way in which we're doing this is by applying the Justice and Security Dialogue approach, which seeks to bring together communities and police services in West Africa. We managed to open a channel of cooperation and communication between informal security groups and the police. And this channel has allowed the police to arrest a network of individuals who were masquerading as police officials in order to extract bribes. Closer to home, USIP launched the Peace Trail on the National Mall, a new app that highlights peace themes among our nation's most iconic monuments and memorials. It encourages public audiences to think a little differently about some of the key sites around the National Mall and to learn more about this country's historic commitment to peace. Every change in administration, USIP hosts the passing of the baton from one presidential administration to the next for an intense discussion about what are the challenges that lie ahead. We know that peace is a process and our USIP teams will continue to work on the practical solutions to those crises. But we're also seeing the rise of great power competition. So looking ahead, USIP above all will, will remain agile and alert to all the ways that we can contribute to national security and a more peaceful world.